A 37-year-old fossil discovery in the Comox Valley has now been confirmed as a new species. Just days after the fossil hunter Mike Trask died, his name was given to the genus of marine animal he discovered near the Puntledge River in 1988. Something his brother says is such an honor for his family. Mackenzie Reed reports. So through time they evolved this. It's a story that's been in the works for millions of years. And now 37 years after its discovery, we now know what this creature is. Here we are at this day celebrating the fact that the animal actually has a name and it's new to science. Never been seen before uh, in the world. Pat Trask and his brother Mike spent decades digging and looking for fossils. It was a beautiful autumn day, early November, leaves on the ground. In 1988, Mike and his daughter found something big. But that particular day, we found something totally unexpected. We found the bones of an elasmosaur. They are just looking for fossils one day. They didn't know they were going to find a sea monster, but luckily they did. The fossils appear to be a new species of an elasmosaur, an extinct marine reptile that lived about 80 million years ago. But it would take Pat's discovery of a well-preserved juvenile years later to support the claim. And from those two specimens, they could say, yes, this is new. Now, after 37 years of research, the predator has been confirmed. A paper in the Journal of Systematic Paleontology naming it Trascosaurus sandre in honor of Mike and the Trask family. But the announcement is bittersweet as it came just days after Mike passed away on May 15th. But Pat made sure his brother knew what was coming. I did show him the mock-up of the, the press release that came out yesterday. And I showed it to him uh, before he passed and he understood um, that they, they named it after him and his daughter and they, they're honoring him uh, for his discovery and what happened after that. He says that discovery sparked enthusiasm for fossils in British Columbia and helped create a number of paleontologist societies across the province. A joy for fossils he hopes continues with the official naming. I hope that I can carry on that, um, that spark that my brother uh, started. The Trascosaurus fossils are on display at the Courtney Museum and Paleontology Centre for all to see.